Hi, how are you doing? This is IBMI by Doing. Welcome to IBMI by Doing, a series of video sessions in which we do hands-on projects programming the IBMI mid-range computer. I am Madhu Vasudevan with over 20 years of IBMI work experience at your service. The target audience is newbie programmers who want to learn RPG4 or RPG ILE on IBMI. We will mount our RPG bikes right on top of the subfile hill and slide down the valley of data file processing in RPG4 ILE. Just follow along, working along with me, you will be able to do this. Early in this series, we will tackle the fabled RPG subfile and we will create every possible variation of the subfile. We will create physical files, logical files, display files, printer files and of course the RPG ILE programs to handle all these files. We will create some information display screens, some data entry screens and generate some reports. Welcome to this hands-on session on RPG4 ILE programming. In this virtual life on the cloud, you are a crossing guard with the Hogsmeade Railroad Station. Besides escorting newbie schoolers to the Hogwarts School of Magic, you have to build the computer interface for muggle parents who want the train's departure information at Hogwarts.com. The load page on demand subfile inquiry program created in previous hands-on sessions was not efficient enough for some muggle parents. They didn't want the train's information subfile ballooning until all 9,999 train records had been loaded onto the subfile. Also, some were apprehensive that your program will choke when destination trains exceeded 10,000 in number, the doomsday number. You need to clean up your act by coding an inquiry subfile program which loads only a single subfile page at a time, no matter how many data records exist. Also, the muggle must be allowed to scroll up and down the data from the beginning of file to the end of file seamlessly. In this deceptively simple rendition, we will magically display multiple data pages using a single subfile page like pulling out multiple bunnies from a single hat. We will review the logical file to access trains information city-wise create a display file with a subfile for inquiring on the train's information by showing a request screen, create an inquiry single page subfile program to pull up the train's information after inputting the city name, run the inquiry subfile program for a specific city or for all cities, and query the train's physical file to verify inquiry program output. Our subfile inquiry program will allow muggles to look up multiple train records in one screen. The search screen will accept a center name as input. After entering a center name, the muggle will press the enter key. Our program will pull up one page full of records of trains going to that center. If the muggle hits the enter key without inputting a center name, our program will pull up one page full of records of trains going to any and all the centers sorted alphabetically. If more is shown at the bottom and the muggle hits page down key, our program will pull up the next page of train records. From any page, user can press page up key, then our program will pull up the previous page of train records. This process can be continued until all requested data records have been viewed as subfile pages. After the last requested record has been loaded to the subfile, bottom will show at the bottom of the last page. If user presses page down key when bottom is shown, error message is shown and keyboard is locked. Finally, F3 may be pressed to quit the inquiry program and end the inquiry session. The city-wise trains information may be viewed by directly querying the physical file. We will run the query command on the physical file train set with the record select parameter set to view the records for specific centers. We will thus verify that our inquiry subfile is indeed working correctly. 
To keep me motivated to produce more and even better quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two and share this video with your colleagues, friends and other IBMI enthusiasts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series. Let us review the logical file to access trains information city-wise. Let's connect to an IBM I. For the purpose of this free educational video, I am using the free access given by the kind folks at pub400.com. You can sign up for free with a valid verifiable email ID. The link is in this video's description. For the client, I am using the TN5250 emulator from sourceforge.net project TN5250. It is a free download and that link is also in this video's description. But feel free to use any emulator or client access available to you. Launch the client 5250 terminal emulator. Sign on to the IBM I. Expand to full screen. Check your library list. From the IBM I command line, key in the command DSPLIBL and hit enter. Note your current library. I will change mine to my second library, which I will use exclusively for this project. Hit F3 to return to command line. Key in the command, change current lib, your second library, and hit enter. Note the message that your current library has been changed. Verify that by keying in the command DSPLIBL again and hitting enter. Hit F3 to return to command line. To ensure that your IBM I uses the dot and not the comma as the decimal point, from the command line, key in the command, chain job, decimal format, within brackets, star blank, and hit enter. Our single page inquiry subfile program will be using the logical file Transadel to pull up the trains information for the centers requested by the user. In a previous hands-on session on coding the load all inquiry subfile program, we had created the logical file Transadel based on the physical file Trainset. Let us review the schema of the logical file Transadel. Key in the command strpdm and hit enter. Inside the program development manager, take option 3 to work with source code members. Ensure file name is QDDS SRC and the library is your project library and hit enter. Now you are inside work with members screen within PDM. The member holding the schema of the logical file Transadel should be listed. Browse the member Transadel by keying in 5 and hit enter. Note that the only record format specified TRN rec is the same as the record format of the physical file train set. The record level keyword P file creates this logical file on the physical file train set. Since no field names have been specified, all the fields from the underlying physical file train set will be accessible through this logical file. The key specified are the center first and train number next. Hence, this logical file will order the records center first ascending and within each center, train number wise also ascending. Press F3 to exit the SEU browse session. Press F3 till you are back in the main menu. Check out the logical file object Transitel. Key in the command DSP lib, your project library and hit enter. Scroll down. You should see the logical file object Transitel. F3 out of the display. Let's examine the logical file object. Key in the command display file description, your project library slash 
transit L and hit enter. Scroll up a few pages and note the record format name, the key field name, etc. At the very bottom, note that the data physical file train set underlying this logical file is also listed. The actual data will be held in this physical files member. Press F3 to exit the display. Let us examine the fields in the logical file transit L. Key in the command display file field description your project library slash transit L and hit enter. Scroll up beyond the record format name and note the field names, attributes, lengths and positions. Press F3 to exit this display. Let's see what data is in the underlying physical file train set. Key in the command run query star n your project library slash train set and hit enter. As expected our physical file train set has the records that we had keyed in with our data entry subfile program in previous hands-on sessions. They are ordered by the train number field. Press F3 to exit the display. Let us see what data is in the logical file transit L. Key in the command run query star n your project library slash transit L and hit enter. As expected, our logical file transit L has the same records as the physical file train set. But when logical file transit L is accessed through a program, the records come up ordered by train number within the centers. Press F3 to exit the display. Having reviewed the logical file to access trains information city-wise, let's create a display file with a subfile for inquiring on the train's information. To keep me motivated to produce more and even better quality free content, please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button below, leave a comment or two and share this video with your colleagues, friends and other IBMI enthusiasts. Hit the bell icon below to actively follow along with the rest of our series.